as you can see, I am not Brent Gove. I'm his Chinese brother, John Tsai from Vancouver, BC, Canada. And he, I think Brent is in Hawaii right now and he has me come on to share uh, what I got for you this week. We only have half an hour, correct? Correct. Okay, good. All right, then it's gonna be like rapid fire because um, we don't have a lot of time. We wanna leave some time for uh, a little bit of Q and A at the end if we can. I look like Brent, thank you. It's the biggest compliment I've gotten today, at least. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So right now, guys, I have 10, 20 in my group, 1,020 agents. It took me four years and five months uh, from January 1st, 2019. And it was a lot of hard work. It was a lot of grind. It was, uh, it was not easy. It was annoying. It was a struggle. Uh, and, and it's all freaking worth it. Fair enough? I have 42 FLQA. I still, to this day, talk to two agents per day. 10 agents per week and 40 a month. That's just what I do, right? You know, sometimes some weeks I don't because I'm traveling. I'm going to shareholder next week and yada, yada, yada. But I'm going to share some points with you. So number one point is, yes, talk to agents. I mean, I don't think I need to talk too much about this point because you're all, you, you all are the top 1%. You know, prospecting and, and recruiting solves all problems in your sales, in your recruiting, in your agent attraction, in, in, in making money. Fair enough? Okay, good. I'm only looking at uh, Tahoe Tony here. So hi, hi, Tony. <laughs> it's all good. If I'm just doing it to you, great. If you like shift to, John, John, if you shift to gallery view, you should be able to see everybody. Okay, perfect, perfect. I'm as old school as uh, any guy is, okay? I'm, I'm 43 years old. I might look a little bit younger, but I'm super old school and archaic and not techie. So on the, top, I, on the top right, it says view and you can switch your view so you can see all these beautiful faces. Oh, I got it. I got it. I see everyone now. All right. Is it Rob? That's me. I'm in the background here. <laughs> How you doing, Rob? You never show your face, but uh, I know you're good looking back there. Thank you. I'm doing great. Thanks for being on today. This is going to be fun. Yeah. So number one point, guys, in 2019, I knew that I was going to have to sell a lot of real estate and, and do agent attraction because this is the opportunity that we have at eXp. So I talked to two agents per day, 10 agents per week and 40 per month. But I still talked to 50 people per day in my production. I was still full time in production. And I did that for the first full year. Guess what happened January 1st, 2020? January 1st, 2020, I took a night. 119 listings myself in 2019. January 2020, it went to zero. But guess what happened January 1st, 2020 for agent attraction? Any guesses? It, it was good. Yeah, thumbs up because I, I, was, I started the year with 123 agents in my sales organization and the revenue share was sitting at $10,000. What a game changer, what a life changer, what a peace of mind it created for my family. Okay. When the pandemic hit, my sales went from 15 sales a month to three sales a month. I thought my career was over, but guess what? 15K came in from revenue share. I can talk about some numbers, right, Rob? You're not going to fire me. And for no, those of you, this is the place to do it right here, man. Oh, this is the place to do it. Yeah, okay. These, good. these are all, these are all builders right here. Okay. Perfect. I mean, I, this, some of this stuff is elementary school for you guys. Um, and for those of you who don't know, if you are in Canada, if you're not in Canada, I'm the, the president of EXP Canada, and I'm here to help. And if there's anybody that you are looking to attract in Canada, I am here to help. Please give me a call. All right, number two point, number two point. If you're young, if you're old, if you're really young, really old, you have to get on social media. I don't care what you say. You have to put out one reel a day, just one reel a day on social media. Jack is doing this, Jack Sai right there, my brother. 66 days in a row, one reel a day, right, Jack? Yeah. Yep. See, that's, if you can do one reel a day, five days a week, you win. You not only have to reach out, but you need to create that presence online. I, I don't know. Is, is, this, is this helpful at all? Because I, I, you guys are already top 1%. Is this helpful at all? Okay, good. All right. So one reel a day, that's all you got. That's all you got to do. All right, next is you need to create some trainings. I know we have 80 hours of online EXP training. If you're not doing training right now, 
you need to be doing some trainings of your own. I'm not saying that uh, the EXP trainings aren't good, but you need to do something for your own group and let other people come as well. I'm sure y'all are some, some of y'all are doing this. I'm doing eight trainings a week right now for my group and it's open to all EXP agents. So if you want that schedule, if you want your agents to get some production help, my trainings are 100% production. Right, there's no age interaction. And, and you know, th this is the narrative that we want to create for EXP right now is we are all about production. I know Brent pushes a lot of agent attraction, but I have to say this, the more productive you are, the more attractive you are, fair enough. So we have to go out there and sell a lot more homes, be productive, then you would talk to a lot of agents by default, right? You're out there hustling. What were your agent call numbers? How many per day? So two per day, Aaron. 10 per week and 40 per month. I have so far talked to 1,530 agents and I've recruited um, to frontline 93 of which 69 are still with the company. Some leave, but that's okay, right? And that has created a total number of 42 FLQA and 1,020 agents total, okay? So number one is 21040. That's what Brent taught me. I never let it go. And as long as I am active at EXP, I'm going to go do my 21040. I don't care. You can do 21040 all day long. Okay. Number two is one reel a day. You need to get on social media. Number three is do trainings. Uh, start from one. I only had one first. It was my Wednesday power half hour call. And then I started with, and then I uh, added two, three, four, five. Now we have eight trainings a week. Even in the president role, I'm still doing my own trainings. It's okay. Work a little harder. It's okay. The market isn't great. It's okay. Go work a little harder. I know you top 1%. It's okay to work hard. Right? The next is EXP explain once a week. Either you're doing it live, lunch and learn, or you're doing it through a Zoom call, which we do. And this is open to everybody. Every Wednesday at 9 a.m., we have a live call. John Tubularis and I. So what to say on a reel? It's, it could be like, hey, what are the top three things that you would do as a realtor in this market. So gear your content towards production help. If you are looking to attract buyers and sellers, you got to do five things you need to do to get your listing ready for sale. Five things you need to do as a first time home buyer. If you're gearing your content towards agent attraction, five things you need to do in 2023 to become successful. Boom, there it is. And you can do it in parts, right? Watch some of my content you'll know exactly what, what I'm talking about. Every Tuesday, 12.30, Randy Bird. Yes, yes, sir, yes, sir. Thank you, Matthew Stewart. Yes, everybody click into that. If you're not doing it on your own, invite them to these structures. Open to all, you can use it, yes. Wednesday, 9 a.m., um, I will send the link somewhere. I'll send it to Rob. Rob can cut, send it all to, out to all of you guys. And Matthew Stewart does one with Randy Bird. So one EXP explained per week. So this is what we do locally here. And I think it's very, very important that we keep the group together. EXP is totally cloud-based. So if you don't create structures to keep your group together, you're not going to create that retention. You're not going to create that culture for you and your group. So one monthly happy hour. And you can even connect with your mortgage broker, inspector. Last time we had an insurance broker to come in and fund and sponsor the event sponsor the happy hour. They get to network with a bunch of agents. We get to do a lot of tequilas. It's all good, right? Who likes tequilas besides myself? Okay, I'll see you at shareholders next week. All right, perfect. All right, next is quarterly production events. I know some of you all have been doing a lot of uh, production events. It might be monthly. I do one big, you know, every quarter. And each and every time is 300 to 500 agents. I want to be able to provide as much value as possible. So we've last time we had 15 speakers to speak to our group, and it's from 9.30 to 2.30. We included lunch. Bam, 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 bam. Just like how Brent does his. I just copy it. Just, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Just do events like that. 15 minutes, 15 minutes, 15 minutes, 15 minutes, lunch, 15 minutes, 15 minutes, 15 minutes boom, Q&A at the end, and everybody networking before and after. That's how you create energy for your group. Does that make sense? All right, good. I want to say th this next thing here. <clears throat> Adam Bailey, thank you so much. I've heard of you for a long time. 
a big fan of yours. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all that you do. Um, luck. I got lucky. Nobody wants to hear luck, right? I got lucky. But here's the thing. I got lucky with Jack Sai. He now is, has become a beta influencer, 215 agents in LA, right? And I have, you know, Toronto, I have uh, another 200 agents in John Tublaris. I don't know if he's here today. I got lucky with John. And I got lucky through uh, attracting another influencer that attracted Grinder Brar in Calgary. He right now has 200 agents, right? So I got lucky. But here's the thing, guys. You got to put yourself in the position to be lucky. And how do we do that? Is work fucking hard. I never miss a day. 2 10, 40. If you never miss a day, you become prepared. You become competent. And you put yourself in the position to be lucky. Does that make sense? But I did get lucky. But if you don't work hard, you don't get to be lucky. Does that make sense, guys? Is that fair enough? Okay. So again, rapid fire, rapid fire, rapid fire. The last but not least is bring people to the big events. So who's going to shareholders next week? Okay, good. Did you know you can bring someone for free? If you are not, please bring someone for free. Okay, go to these events, shareholders next week. I'll see you there and build. Guys, build is where your organization blows up. 2019, August, I brought everybody in our organization to build 2019. That's how we went from 50 to like 85 and all of a sudden to 100, right? It just, it just works. I can't tell you, I can't prove to you that it works, but it works. Every time I bring people to an event, the numbers go up, right? So the stat, guys, what Jack and I found out on the influencer statistics, the list, 70% of agents on that list, stagnant, didn't grow year over year. 20% had moderate growth, maybe five, maybe 6%. And then you have the last 10% who grew exponentially. So who wants to become that top 1% or 10% that grows a lot? Okay. I hope you took a lot of notes. That's my journey. Those are my tips. It's simple. It's stupidly simple. Guys, I keep it really simple. Again, I am very archaic. I just get back to the grind. I keep my head down and I take actions, right? When you don't know what to do, just do it. Just do it and follow, the, follow this, follow this, right? Brent said 21040. I'm like, is it really that freaking easy? Is it really that stupid easy? I went ahead and, and did it with blind faith and it worked out for me. So guys, thank you very much for your time. We'll go to Q&A. If there's anything I can help you with, I'm here. Thank you. Silence. A... Yes, Tony. Yep. Hey, John, when, you, when you're doing your reels, give us some idea of what some of the things you talk about and how long are they? Um, you want to capture people within less than 15 to 20 seconds, right? And, and it's, it, I, I just love to yell at people when I speak. So... So stuff like this. On the actions and habits that I didn't want to do. So for example, if I wanted to talk to 50 people, if I didn't do my job that day, I would pay 100 bucks. Right? And I'm Chinese, I never miss. <laughs> I'm Chinese, I don't want to pay anybody any money. So it's just as stupid as that. But if hey, you one of the one yeah, of the John, I want to mention, yeah, one of the things that you do, which is awesome, which we can all do, which is low, you know, it, it's it's easy, is just use video from events that you've spoken at instead of recreating the wheel. And so, like, I I got this idea from John. I'm just having a VA cut up past presentations that I've done and make them into 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 90 second reels, and then put them out there. And so you can just use old content. You don't even have to. You don't have to be shooting new content. Such a great point, Dylan. Document instead of create. Create might stress you out, but if you document your life, even if you're just going about your day as a day in the life of a real tour, then you chop that up, it's gold. People want to see that, right? And I, I used to create a lot and that was quite stressful. But when I speak now, I just chop that up. So Dylan, thank you for putting that in. There are several programs now you can download 30 minute, an hour video. 
and AI will cut it up for you, give you the captions and everything in about two minutes. Oh, you can create gosh. 40, 50 reels instantly. Can you share that with us? <laughs> I will I will look at I'll look, I'll find I'll find which one it is. Yeah, suggestions. Yeah. What are they called? <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Thank you. So John, are you doing events geared towards attraction? If so, how often? So quarterly production events. I I don't do attraction events. Um, attraction events, I just invite to, to uh, build or to shareholder summit, then, then that's what I do. But locally here, I only right now do production events, helping agents sell more homes. Agents right now are hurting for a paycheck, no? They want that energy. They want to know the how-to, and you give it to them. And once they come, they'll feel your energy. They'll feel, you know, they'll see your culture. They'll meet your team members. You'll be like, hey, you know, I align with these people. Great. I, I don't know about EXP first, but I like these people. People don't go work with brokerages. People work with people. Fair enough. So you need to be a human first and build that relationship. And then then you have the permission to share with them EXP. Fair enough? All right, good. Thank you, Coach Bill. All right. Robin, go ahead. Thank you. So those the events that you're doing, the um, the monthly happy hour, the quarterly production events, uh, those are for your downline as well as Asian attraction type events or like you just invite everybody or how does that work? I just try to be as inclusive as possible and in our local market, we used to, you know, compete against each other, right? Because we have, uh, you know, Randy Dick's group, Jason Samard's group locally here, John Sides group. Now we want to try to do it all together. We want to include everybody in, in one. So the, the, the theme is though, Robin, we are all doing production events, helping agents how to sell more homes, the know-how. The attraction events, it, that, that will come. But right now, based on what the market is telling us, we need production events more than ever. And we need to have the narrative of we sell a lot of homes. If you sell a lot of homes, we are very, very productive. You create a culture of production. You will attract naturally a lot of agents because agents want to sell more homes. That's the bottom line. So that's what we're giving to them. Yes, sir. Any other questions? Ma'am, ladies, gentlemen. I was that, that was rapid fire, man. John, for the, John, for the yeah. production event, do you only, do you only uh, have EXP agent speak? So that might be, um, it's good. It's good. I would say that you should invite other brokerages to come and speak. A, if you invite other influencers to come and speak at your event, they get to see what you do. It's not like, hey, come to our EXP event so we can show you what EXP is all about. Hey, come contribute to our production event. Then you can meet the crew, right? What happened was this, this past Friday, we did a production event in Toronto, Canada, and we invited um, two Royal LePage agents, not trying to attract them or anything. We just knew that they can provide a lot of value for our crowd. And guess what happened? We went for dinner afterwards and all they asked about was, hey, tell me more about that rev shirt thing. Tell me more about that stock thing. But we invited them as speakers and gave them, you know, we gave kudos to them. They made them feel good, build that relationship. And then, and then boom, the EXP conversation comes so naturally after that. So Jack, it's also an agent attraction opportunity. And a lot of times if it's all EXP speakers, then it becomes more of an EXP event. And sometimes it puts some people off just being honest right? You want to attract mice with cheese, not with a cat. Meow. Make sense? All right, good. Do I do cold calls? Uh, no, I don't. Yeah. So what I do do is um, more of a... I'll, I'll jump in. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Go ahead. Robin, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. I was like, I'll jump in again. The um, training events. What are some examples of training events that you offer? Yeah, great question. So every Thursday at 1130, from 1130 to 1215, I do a production training. So last few weeks, we've been talking about prospecting. And then uh, last week, Atish Chan talked about KV Core, how to utilize KV Core at a high level. So each and every agent that does something really well, we invite them to speak at our production training events. So each and every week, we have something like that. And we record it. 
right? We repurpose that. And so it's, it's all like all encompassing, but you need to provide some value. And that's the work. That's the grind right there. That's the grind right there about agent attraction. You might not want to do these things. It might be annoying. It might be a struggle, but guess what? If, if it were that easy, everybody would do it. Right. And you got to realize only 5% of all EXP agents actually make a meaningful rev share. Is that, is that correct, Rob? Do you think that's a correct stat? I think you're right. Yep. Yeah. And we're in the top, we're in the top 5% right here. So, so let's keep going. What day of, okay. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So two each day. Don't overwhelm yourself. If you can do one, start with one. If you can do two, do two, but you don't need to do eight. I'm just, I do eight because I'm crazy. 12% rev share check, right? But meaningful revenue share income, I think 5%. What would you say on cold calls? Less, less than one half of 1% have more than 100 people in the rev share group. Less than one half of 1%. 60% of the time, it works every time, Dylan. Just kidding. <laughs> what were you saying about cold calling? So I do... What I do is I'm on Instagram a lot. I'm on TikTok a lot, but Instagram is where a lot of agents gather, okay? Instagram. And so when they follow you, you follow them. You comment on their um, content, right? Give them kudos, congratulations on the sale, blah, 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 blah. You start to connect. And then I would go on the, on the back end of the DM and say, hey, you know, notice you've been crushing it on social media and your production's going on fire. And we're looking for top agents, strong agents like yourself to collaborate with. I'm wondering if you open to, if you would be open to a, collab, a, a conversation about collaboration. And that's it. That's my cold calling. I haven't actually cold called. I hope that makes sense. I, I wanted to share something. John, the training you're doing 1130 to 1215, are you doing those live? Or are you doing those on Zoom? I am doing for- those live and on Zoom. Uh, on Thursdays, but the other seven I do solely on Zoom at home, just like this. Okay. Yeah. And those are to your group, or that's for to anybody who who's interested. You know, a lot of uh, agents from other brokerages as well. They come. Oh, so this here's another thing that I did. I started a Facebook group, and this is branded as a two comma. You know, I just I wanted all agents from all brokerages to be in that one community where we can, we can share ideas, share, you know, uh, resources and whatnot. And then other agents would come to our Zoom calls as well. And some end up joining us through the value that we provide and many don't, and that's okay, right? So just remember this, focus on your goal only. Don't focus on anything else. Focus on your goal. And my goal was to get to a thousand agents by end of year three. I did that in four years. I'm not complaining, but it's just, if you have your vision so clear on getting to that 1000, everything that you do will just go towards that goal, right? And you will find out through doing everything that I, that I just stated here with you, you know, you'll find out what you do best. It's just like your production, right? You're going to call for sale by owners, expired listings, just listed, just sold COI for rent by owners, but then you'll find out, oh, I'm really, really good at center of influence, then I do 80% of, of, of my actions on that and then disperse the other ones, right? So for you, agent attraction might not be what I just said. It might not be calls. It might not be texts. It might be just going out networking with people. You find your own thing, but here's the thing. Be consistent. Never give up. It's uncomfortable, but never give up. You might have a bad day. Then you, next thing you know, you haven't called an agent for like a month, right? Does that sound familiar? Right? So. Don't do that. Just keep going. Just one a day or two a day, 10 a week, 40 a month. Dylan, I would love to, man. I would love to. Please, let's let's make it a date. December, December 1st, man. I'm, I'm going to hit you up. Okay, let's do it. What time zone? Uh, 1130 Pacific Standard Time to 1215. All right, great. We got four minutes left. Any other questions that I can help with? How are you keeping track of who you talk to? CRM, Liz, check this out. Is it just in your notes? 
iPhone notes right there. That's it. I don't and have. Do you have them numbered? Do I have the number? You no. Know, do you have them numbered in there? I thought I saw you had them. I did. Yeah. Them. So I, I, I mean, yes. So I, I put I them all. This about numbers. you. It's I was so curious how you knew like the, the 15, 15, 30 number. I'm like, how does he know this number? 15, 29. The last agent was Rob Boys, right? I just talked to him at noon, right? And it's just, it's as simple as that. Now I know that I've uh, attracted right. 93 agents total. 69 are still with the company. I've talked to the total number of 15, 29, where they're through text about EXP, a call about EXP, a networking about EXP, a referral from another agent, referral from another client. You know, I keep track of everything, but it's so, so archaic. So it's so easy. It's, it's so simple, right? But people, it's, it's so easy to do, guys, but it's right. so easy not to do. Fair enough. And that's the agent attraction story right there. That's, you just got to talk to people. I mean, your phone notes is like one step above writing on a yellow notepad like Brent did. So it all works, right? It, it, it all works. Somebody introduced this guy to a CRM. <laughs> Sometimes the CRM makes it too hard, though. Like, like if, like my brain, if if I can't see them in front of me, like that note, I'm like, I'm doing that. Like that'll change my whole life. Like that one thing, John will change. Why? Because it's it, CRM. I have to get in it. I have to dig in it. I have to look them up. I have to remember things. Like that's to my brain. So that's. I think it's great. I mean, uh, Whatever Thank CRM you. you use, that you're welcome. And whatever notepad you use, whatever thing that you use to keep track of your numbers, do that. Right? There's no good, bad, right, or wrong. It's just what works for you. It's not one size fits all. Whatever I share today is just a suggestion and recommendation and just sharing my own journey and what I did. It may not work for you, but just know this blind faith. Just keep your head down. And you will hit your number. I guarantee it. It's not a matter of if you will hit your agent attraction goal. We're on this call for a reason. You're all our top 1%. It's just a matter of when. So be patient and have some fun with it. 